The gift of revelation. Number one, under that category is word of wisdom. The gift of revelation, word of wisdom. This is supernatural revelation or insight into divine will. Purpose. Showing how to solve any problem that may arise. Supernatural intelligence into divine will or purpose. Showing how to solve a problem when it arises. Act 26 verse 16. But rise and stand on your feet. For I have appeared to you for this purpose. To make you a minister and witness both of the things which you have seen and things which I will reveal to you. I will deliver you from the Jewish people as well from the Gentiles to whom I send you to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God that they may receive forgiveness of sin and inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Knowing divine will, knowing divine purpose, knowing how to solve a problem when it arises is called word of wisdom. Because it is knowing into divine will, divine purpose. And then now a challenge will arise. When this battle starts coming, the best way to address it is to leave. Because it's not your time to fight. Telling you how to solve a problem when it will arise. What is that? Word of wisdom. For example, I wanted to write physics exam. I did not know physics. But I was, so I was confused and I slept. And they showed me the question. So I saw all the questions of my physics in my dream. And I saw the pages where they are. The answers are in my textbook. So I saw the answer. I saw the question. And I went to exam room. And I was photocopying from the spirit. That was how I passed physics. What is that? What is that? I can't hear you. Word of wisdom. Why? It is telling you how you can solve a problem when it arises. Right? And it is revelation of divine will, divine purpose, divine agenda. Ah, 27, 21 to 27. It was Apostle Paul and the guys who were in the sea. They, they were afraid that they would die. But Apostle Paul told them, an angel appeared to me in the middle of the night. He said, nobody will die in this ship. Nobody will die in this ship. Nobody will be wasted and we will get to the land safely. As a, this, the angel said, because you will witness to me in Rome, you can't die. So, insight into divine will, into divine purpose, and knowing the solution of a problem when it arises. Number two, say word of knowledge. This is supernatural revelation of divine knowledge. Supernatural revelation of divine knowledge or insight into divine mind will or plan supernatural knowledge supernatural revelation of divine knowledge or insight in the divine mind or will or plan also the plan of others that no man could know except you are informed the plan of others that no man will know except you are informed word of knowledge what is the difference between word of wisdom and word of knowledge from this explanation who can tell me now let me ask, before you are confused, supernatural knowledge, you know what has been done. Word of wisdom, you know what will be done. Do you get it? Word of knowledge, you know what has been done. What is word of wisdom? What will be done? Word of knowledge, you know the past. Word of wisdom, you know the future. Are you getting it? Are you here? If you are getting blessed, yes. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, you know the plan. You know the will. Word of knowledge, you know the mind. You know what is happening. So when I faced this lady, when you were 20 years old, you did this and did this and did this. What is that? When I say in the future, I see you do this. What is that? So when that you say there is somebody here, doctors told you that your kidney is no more working. What is that? Word of knowledge. The Lord said he will fix it. What is that? So sometimes... When daddy is talking, he moves from word of knowledge to word of wisdom. Are you here? Some people can stop at word of knowledge. There is a lady here, they said they are going to sack you. And the people say, go deeper, papa. He said, can I prophesy, prophesy? You live in number two. Yeah, papa. Major one. Prophesy. He said, and uh, when I enter your street, I enter your street, I enter your street. 
I see three of one, two, three. Yellow. Yeah, yeah. That's my house. So I move. I turn. I turn. I turn. I turn. I turn. As I turn, I see a mango tree. Yes, my house. I enter room one, room two, room three, by the left. I see a yellow curtain. Yes, Papa. And that's your room. Okay. Hallelujah. If I tell you what has happened, I'm telling you what. When I tell you what will happen, I'm telling you what. Do you desire the two? Do you desire the two? Act chapter 9 from verse 11 to 12. Act 9. So, the Lord said to him, Arise, go to the street, not straight. Inquire of the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he is praying. And in a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias come in, putting his hand on him so that he might receive his sight. What is that? I can't hear you. Hey, what is that? Go to the street called Street. Look for a man called and look for a man called Judas. There is a man in the house called Saul. He is praying. He had seen in a vision somebody will come and lay hands on him. What is that? What is that? Word of knowledge. It is divine. How do you know the street called Street? The street is there. Not the street will be there. Oh, glory. Are you here? The street is there, right? Apostle Paul is here praying, right? Apostle Paul has seen a vision that somebody is coming, right? So what is that? Word of knowledge. It's just like me describing and telling you what you did or what you are doing. Or if I look at you and tell you your mind and tell you what you have done and tell you about you that nobody knows, that only you knows, it is word of knowledge. If I tell you the mind of God that you don't know, it is word of wisdom. Are you here? If I tell you what you have done, where you live, what you have done, it is what? Word of knowledge. You know it. Nobody knows it. If I tell you what God wants to do for you, have you seen it before? Word of wisdom. 